Hi everybody, it's Caroline here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am working with the new Tracy Reed collection. This is the February collection and it is called Smitten. Um, Tracy provides digital and hybrid products. So I am a paper scrapbooker generally. So what I tend to do is print off the collection and work with it as I would any other scrapbook product. Um, I do add some digital elements into my photos and sometimes I print some of the digital elements, but today I am working purely with all of the printables um, to scrapbook this photo or this story about my husband and I when we recently went on a trip in our little VW camper to Cheddar. It was very, very cold, but we had a new diesel heater fitted into the little van and it was lovely. Um, so I know I want to work with this photo. I may end up printing more photos. Um, I may just use that one. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to take you along on the journey with me. I'm going to keep it at a slow pace at first while I pull out some products and then I will put this onto um, fast forward and get creating. Now I know that I want this to go into our album and I'm at this point. Um, haven't because I'm working with a 12 by 12 album as well this year I've got less stories in this book which is absolutely fine so I know that I'm working on the back of a four pocket page protector so that is my jumping off point I want to use that configuration I'm not sure what to do on this side like I said I may well print off a large photo that is one of my um, favorite things to do especially when pairing with a, a pocket page um, or I might work at a six by eight canvas. I may work at the five by eight canvas, traveler's notebook size, don't know. So we're just gonna see where we go. <laughs> okay, so because I'm wearing this hippie, um, my hippie coat here, which is kind of teal colors, I know I'm going to want to pull in some of this gorgeous teal that we've got in the collection. But first of all, let's get started with picking three cards for that left-hand side. And I want the photo to go over there. So I've separated my cards into journal cards, sentiment cards, and I have a few pattern cards printed. Um, I don't tend to print the pattern cards. Um, I tend to cut the papers to the size of cards, but I'm going to start doing it. I am going to start printing them because if I can... Oh, it's simply because um, Tracy scales everything down in a really amazing way. So this heart will be a little bit larger on the um, on the Traveller's Notebook signature papers. And again, a little bit larger again on the 12 by 12 papers. So yeah, the pattern cards are a little hidden gem in the collections that I just hadn't ever registered before. But I'm definitely going to start working with them a lot, lot more. So... But I don't know whether I'm going to work with it today. <laughs> so let's have a look through first. I know I'm going to need something for journaling on. So now I'm going to use that. So let's have a look. Um, don't want to use that one or that one. Probably not that one. Might use that one. I love the bunting. We've got bunting up in our little lady. So might use that. May use the plaid. May straight away bring in that turquoise colour. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So it's a nice and simple one. And now a sentiment card. Um, I love this card. And if this was a story about my daughter and I, or my daughter, or even just myself, I would have used that. But my husband, for some reason, doesn't like that sentiment, even though I love that sentiment. So I am definitely going to use that card, but not on a story about us. Um, um, I'll definitely use this card. But again, this was actually a story from January. So I'll save that one. Uh, love note. I'm, def I'm saving that one for a, a story about Laura. So that's, um, that's good. My life would suck without you, darling. Yeah, so one of those three one of those two and I think yeah actually either of those because I've got the circle element here either of these would make me very happy to work with them because they've both got the circle element I think though that I'm going to go with this one this floral background because it's a little bit more simple and I like I like the colour yeah I really like that colour I may end up fussy cutting this out and using it as an embellishment on the other page. 
There is a wreath in the die cut um, set. So I'll, I'll see, I'll see. I'll leave that one at the top of my, um, on the top of my table. I could put that in as well. No, I don't like that. Um, so, let's have a think. I'm gonna have my photo on this inside piece. Pop that there. Balances off against Craig's top. Journaling, so something for here. So I could bring in this floral. I think I'm going to put in the dot because it matches this dot. So we've got that same pattern in two places. That will mean that I will want to use the larger pattern paper over on this page somewhere or some kind of die cut, something to have that repeated pattern in three places. What I will do with this is really build it up and just use it as an embellished card, I think. Um, that would look really nice. So journaling, embellishment, subtitle or title. Um, photo which I may just leave plain. I may leave plain just depending on what I'm going to do on this side. So that's nice. Nice. Now let's have a look at what papers I will use. Um, you can see that one straight away. <laughs> so I'll have that over there but probably just a strip and then I'm sure this background, this card is a pattern paper so let me look for that and then I've got that in two places it brings all of the colors from the collection together and I like that um, that's, the, that's the wreath look that's that um, wreath I'm gonna use that Could use the heart I'm sure it's one of these is that green it must be one of these there it is. <laughs> Brilliant. So, I think I will do mainly this and a touch of this. So, depending on the size I go for, I'll either trim this down, keep it at that size with a, a little border, probably tear the paper because it's one of my favourite things to do, or I might work with it at about six and pop it inside a page protector. I'm trying to use up my page protectors. I'm not going to buy any more, um, but I want to use them up. So I am trying to build into that six by eight canvas rather than the outside of the page protector size that I normally do. So I think I will do that. And I think I will want some more photos. So let me go and get the photos done. Back in a moment. Okay, so I've printed two more photos from this day out. Um, I have printed them with a border, um, but because I'm gonna be working inside of the page protector, I do need to cut them out so that they're not just six by four in size. And as I trim that border off from the selfie printer, it will make them a little smaller anyway. I'm gonna end up staggering them a little bit just to make it sure that I get some of the nice pattern paper all around the edge. So I've got a nice border of those. Just laid them down. Um, on those pieces of paper on the right hand side at the minute while I work on the left hand side on those cards. So at the moment all I'm going to be doing is pulling out from the die cut um, sticker sheets all of the pieces that I may use on this project. I'm not making any decisions at the moment as to what I am going to use. I'm just looking for colour matches, sentiments that help me to tell my story, any patterns that really, really complement the patterns that I've already got on the cards and the papers that I've chosen and any motifs that really match. So I knew I, I liked from that um, from that card that I saw earlier, I knew I liked the, the wreath. So I have pulled that wreath out. And what I do like is that it, it gives me three circles for each of those three cards. I've got the you and me circle. I've got the circle for the journaling on the bottom left one. And it gives me a circle to build up a cluster of embellishments on that top right card. At this point, I've also pulled out these two pennant flags. They match the colour scheme that I'm working with really well. The sentiments go really well, and I actually really like them stacked up in that centrepiece because they, um, the flag happens to go to the left and one to the right, so it works really, really well so that they kind of frame those photos. Next, I'm trying to decide what I want to match the photos with. They have got that nice white border around them, so they'd be perfectly fine as they are, but I want to um, use bring in some more patterns, more colour, 
from the collection. It's a new print job for me. I've got a, the whole thing pretty much printed off as I've done a project that I've already created. So I've got lots to work with and I want to get some of it nicely used up. So little tip is I'm going through the um, the Traveller's Notebook signatures because sometimes there may be one or two that I might not use as a Traveller's Notebook signature. It may be that I'm not that keen on the sentiment or the design might not be quite my style so I could then flip them to the side like I've done here and use them as a six by four card or even just a border a mat for some photographs so I'm just going through looking for what might work because that floral is actually quite busy although there's not that many colors in it it's a it's a busy pattern I wanted something that was calmer. <laughs> um, I was going to go with another version of that lovely mint green that, that's in the um, polka dot paper but it kind of got a bit lost so I'm pulling in a few patterns that have got the whole palette of the collection in to see which one works best and in the end I will be bringing in that plaid but I'll be layering it up a little bit as well. Before I start trimming those mats though, I've suddenly realised I need to build that background piece of paper, else it may well be that I'll build my, uh, cut my mats and then they're too wide for the paper. So that's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to tear a strip from that lovely um, minty polka dot and add that to the edge of the floral so that I have a true 6x8 canvas because I will be putting this into the page protector so I don't have to worry about any holes or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to build it so that it's 6x8 and then once I've got that canvas ready I can then start building the mat for my photos. Paper tearing is one thing I really love to do. I love the texture that it adds into a page. I love the interest and it just brings an added dimension to a collection that you're working with in a printable format. You don't have chipboard or puffy stickers necessarily to bring in different layers and, and different tactile um, textures, but paper tears, stitching, um, roughing up the edges of the paper, it all makes a massive difference to bringing real kind of interest onto your pages. So before I work on that right hand side, I've decided I'm going to finish up the cards on the left hand side because that's nice and easy. So I'm just going to work on this top right card. So it's a three by four patterned card and I'm bringing in bits from the die cut sticker pack. I've got that lovely wreath that, that cut out really, really well and a piece of bunting. I've added that bunting in because our little um, camper has got that kind of boho feel to her. So it's really lovely to have um, a little bit of bunting, heart bunting all around on this page. And it's inspired me that I might actually um, create some bunting for inside her as well. I'm going to pop that bunting and also the banner piece that will go in the center of this wreath on pop dots. Again, another little tip when you're working with printable collections to add that dimension and that um, shadow and shade underneath the layers is to pop things up. Even though these cards and the, the right hand side are gonna go into a page protector, you really, really can see the difference. You, you can see the difference when you pop things up onto pop dots for that added dimension. Really like how this, this turns out. It's really, really simple um, to just put three pieces of die cuts down on, on a card, but it looks absolutely lovely in the uh, in the pocket once it's all put together. Now I am just assembling that mat. I haven't stuck any of these photos down yet. I'm just only very, very loosely, just checking to see if everything's going to fit on the page as I wanted to, because as I've said, I'm working with a six by eight size. So I know things are gonna be a little bit tight and I still want the whole border of that background canvas to be showing so that you can really get the effect that I'm looking for. Using a little tool here just to rough up the edges again on my mat, again for that added texture and also it will help to get that tightness that I've got going on with this canvas, it will help to shrink that down a little bit because you'll have the whole pattern there and then the edges are slightly curled, slightly torn so that um, things will fit nicely on the page. So I'm just adding the photos onto the top of that distressed mat now to see how things look. I've made a really lovely little 
arty tear over on the right hand side and then when I map my photo on there you can't see it <laughs> so what I'm going to do is now stick my photos onto that mat finally make a commitment and then go back into the mat and do some extra arty tears just so that I get that really distressed look that I'm going for so I'll flatten that one back down so you can't really see it was a tear and then I'll pop another one up on that right hand side I've got the extra bit of mat showing up there because I've opted to stagger my photos um, put them on a bit of a jaunty angle um, and I did that because I'm pairing this page with a pocket page so because the left hand side is very regimented because they're in those pockets I do like to either go very regimented on the right hand side and have everything with very clean lines and very organized or I like to shake things up a bit and have it so that the, the kind of matching page is very different which it is here you know have that distressed look and things on, on angles and not quite not quite perfect so really happy with the way this is starting to come together pulling in bits now that I've already pulled aside from the die cut pack because I've got that um, piece of bunting up on the top right card I've decided to pull in some additional bunting Tracy's added some really lovely ones into the collection so I've got one down on the left hand journaling card and one over on the photo um, really happy with the visual triangle that I get from that and you'll see that I've just snipped apart that card that I had. I made the commitment. It's a printable collection. If I don't like the way it looks, I can just print it out again. Um, as it is, I do really like it. And again, I'm starting to have repetition now. So I've got that banner piece repeating up on the top um, and the top left of the, the project. So the, um, I can't, I think it's Reed's Life is So Sweet, the one that I've put inside the um, wreath. And then I'm going to have a second banner piece down on the right hand side on the bottom of my photos just echoing the same motif so bringing in repeated motifs to for a really coherent feel to this project even though the two styles on the sides of the page are very very different I've decided to go with those banner flags that I talked about so the um, the pennant flags having one that's facing to the right so that's going to go over on the right hand photo and then layering up with the one with the flag going left so that that hangs over the left hand photo uh, I absolutely I'm so in love with this collection and I'm really really happy with this page um, it was just a fluke that we happened to be wearing colors that that coordinated really really well with the collection um, but it's it just makes my heart really happy to look at this video as it's coming together and I know I'm going to be really happy in the year to come in the months to come as I flip through my album and when I see this page it's going to make me smile lots it's a really it's a collection that just lifts your heart it's it's Tracy's done really really well with it I think she's it's fantastic this is where I'm bringing in that banner piece that I've fussy cut out of the 3x4 card, just popping things together to see how they look. Trying to decide now whether I want to put some sequins in. I found some sequins in my stash that match the collection absolutely perfectly and I have got to include them in a project um, and I thought this was going to be the project but it isn't I haven't used I don't use them yet I could use them as a kind of scattering a confetti um, embellishment across the project or even as a um, shaker pocket I've got to use them I've got to use them but today isn't the day I'm going to instead bring in some glittery alphas to spell out a big title up on that um, top right hand side I've got that you and me over on the left hand that could have been perfectly work perfectly well as a title but because I've got these sparkly alphas that I wasn't able to use in my first project with this collection and I desperately wanted to because I just love love them so much and um, they match this project really really well because it was really cold um, when we were driving on our adventure which is why we we're blowing into the air on that turn one photo you can see our breath on the photo and um, so I love how these are all glittery and they just make me think of the frost and they help me to tell my story um, I always like to make conscious choices when I pick up my um, my stash or use any projects I always like them to really enhance the story that I'm trying to tell and because I've used those glittery white alphas on that right hand side, I've decided that instead of using those sequins, I'm going to pull it in the uh, full stops that come with the, the thickers as um, as embellishments. So I'm just going to pop those in little triangles on my cards over on the left hand side so that I've got some of that glittery white on both the left and the right hand side. And it just adds to the feel of this being one whole piece in my album. So um, really, really pleased with how this 
looks. I hope you've enjoyed this process video. I hope I've inspired you to try out the Smitten collection. I know that there's lots of Valentine's and love um, collections out at the moment, but I recommend this one um, if you're gonna give one a go. Um, don't be put off if you haven't worked with hybrid stuff before with printables. It's fantastic. It's a really, really good um, thing to try and you'll have lots and lots of fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So I will see you again soon. Bye.